How's it going, everybody? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, no matter when you're checking out my video, hope you guys are doing well. Guys and gals, and we are with Batman Arkham Knight. So Batman Arkham Knight has been out for a week, exactly. It is June 30th, 2015, and um, hopefully I can beat the game today. And I'll show you what's up here. So, as you can see, I'm well on my way to, yeah, just about beating or taking care of everything. Um, once I finish this Azrael mission, which I'm about to jump into the final challenge for Azrael, um, the only other thing I'm going to knock out side quest wise is this, uh, this penguin gun runner side quest. As well as I'm probably going to knock out the towers just because I only have to take out uh, four more towers to complete that. But that's about it. I'm not going to bother taking out any more checkpoints. I might take out a couple more checkpoints if I, if I uh, come across them. But it's not a huge deal at this point, man. Um, it's really not. I've done uh, just about everything that I've wanted to do in the game and nobody can tell me that I haven't put forth a good effort trying to play as much of the game as I possibly could have. Um, just one other side note on the riddles, I'm up to 100 riddles solved. Um, I haven't really been hitting the riddles too hard. That's something that I'll probably do off camera if I play through the game a second time because Honestly, that, you know, that's just too much <laughs> to sit here and try to solve every single riddle. I know uh, some people out there will probably do that, but I'm not going to do that in my playthrough. Um, I've put forth a decent effort in trying to solve riddles when I come across them, but I haven't really, you know, tried to uh, seek out riddles at all during the game. Well, actually, that's a lie. I've done it a few times. I've gone out looking for riddles a few times but it's not a not a main uh, priority so I'm I've completed about 75 percent of the overall game I'm 70 percent through the main story so I think I could beat the game this afternoon it is about it's going on 10 a.m. my time so hopefully by around three or four in the afternoon I'll be done with this uh, so without further ado let me shut the hell up and let's check out Azrael's final challenge here so I'm kinda nervous about this I'm not gonna lie I am ready to face your final challenge it's the toughest yet fuck you Batman you bastard it's the toughest yet. You will fail. Come on, man. Yes! <laughs> yes! You are to be commended, Azrael. <sighs> you have passed the test. I will contact you when I have made my decision. There is oh. no decision to make, Batman. I am ready now. I decide how this works, not you. Every moment you waste, Gotham falls deeper into the abyss. Make your decision fast, or she will be lost forever. Sir, we have a positive ID on Azrael. His real name is Michael Lane. He was a GCPD officer before he was dismissed due to psychological issues. And then, well, he seems to have disappeared off the face of the earth. That must have been when he was recruited by the Order of Saint-Dumas. It gets decidedly more peculiar, sir. 
The bat computer has picked up an irregularity in Lane's physiology. I've not seen anything like this before. Upload the data to the clock tower. I can analyze it from there. Right you are, sir. Hmm. Yeah, man, I was kind of nervous about um, about that last uh, challenge. Um, I do watch other YouTube gaming channels from time to time, and I was watching this uh, this one YouTuber in particular that's been around for a really long time, and I was watching him play this part. He's right around the same part of the game that I am, but at any rate, I watched uh, this YouTuber play this last challenge, and he was just getting his ass handed to him over and over and over again. Like, he just getting his ass kicked. And I was like, wow, man, that must, you know, this part must be tough. So I was kind of nervous starting out, but that challenge was probably the easiest challenge that I've, uh, that I've done with Azriel. So... I mean, pretty much all you have to do is press the counter button and the left su left uh, thumbstick, and that's it. I mean, it's pretty easy. Um, so we knocked that out. Now we need to go over to the clock tower, and let's finish up this uh, side quest here. Pretty awesome start. Pretty awesome start to the last day of uh, Batman Arkham Knight. I'm looking forward to uh, playing this game off camera. Um, I always tell my fiance that playing on camera kind of adds a little bit more pressure than if I'm just sitting and chilling and playing a game, you know, just for the fun of it. Look, Batman, just admit that you have absolutely no interest in saving those rioters with bombs for brains, and I will press the detonation switch right now. Right now. Fine. Yeah. Have it your way. Yeah, the Riddler just keeps on fucking talking. That's the one thing that's annoying the hell out of me with uh, Batman Arkham Knight are these fucking supervillains that come over the uh, loudspeaker and they just run their mouth and just talk constant bullshit. It gets so fucking annoying, man. The offer stands. Shut the hell up, Riddler. You could stay down in your little hole for all I care. I don't care about any more of your riddles, dude. Think we'll find in Azrael's brain, Batsy? Who knows? Maybe there's an evil court jester in there. <laughs> I'm sending over the data on Michael Lane now. I'm no neurologist, sir, but I can quite confidently assert that doesn't look like it belongs in one's brain. It's a surgically implanted microprocessor interfacing with the temporal lobe, the region of the brain used for storing and accessing memories. Which memory is, sir? Visualizing now. Azrael, protector of faith, defender of purity. The Order of San Dumas has safeguarded Gotham for over 500 years. And it is your sworn duty to continue our legacy. You have studied the Dark Knight for years, learning his every strategy, analyzing his every tactic, Perfecting his every move. Now it is time to complete your mission. Hmm. Seek out the Batman. Prove that you are his worthy and trusted successor. Only when you have won the Batman's trust will you be able to fulfill your destiny. Hmm. His intentions do seem pure, sir. Are you suggesting these recollections have been tampered with? I am. Alfred, I know this symbol from Arkham City. It's the Order's sacred language. They've implanted markers into Lane's memories to modify his behavior unconsciously. If I can find the other markers, I'll be able to reconstruct the waveform and reveal the message. Huh. I didn't find anything there. I need to scan the markers. Hmm. 
Nothing in this area. I need to scan the markers in order to reconstruct the waveform. Uh huh. Scanning that marker has reconstructed part of the waveform. It's working. Okay. So I have to go backward in the video here. This is probably one of my least favorite things that they put in the game. I don't think it adds anything at all to the gameplay. It's actually really fucking annoying doing all this shit. I feel like I'm a security guard at Camart trying to look for shoplifters. Another portion of the waveform has been restored. Yeah, whoever made this part in the game was probably watching too much uh, CSI Miami or some shit. Like, yeah, let's let's put in a. Oh wait a second, did I miss another one? No. I don't know, I just don't think that this needed to be in the game is all. Okay, there's the other marker. Yeah, I remember this from Arkham City. In Arkham City, you had to um, find Azrael on like four, like four different circumstances, or for like four or five different circumstances, you had to find Azrael, and then at the end of the game, you had to match his um symbols and then you had like a talk with him at the end almost there there's probably one more marker to find and scan one more marker to find so this guy was a police officer huh i guess that's a a good air to take over for batman there's the other marker That's it. The waveform is complete. This should reveal the message. The Dark Knight stands in the way of our cause. He prevents the evil of Gotham from facing true divine justice. When you have proven yourself, wait for your moment and then strike him down. Take your rightful place as Gotham's new guardian. A guardian wholly willing and relentless in his quest to protect this city. Huh. They certainly don't mince their words, do they, Master Bruce? How will you stop him? He won't. Lane. Lane is dead. I am Azrael, knight to the Order of San Dumas. The Order has lied to you, stolen your free will. Liar! You stand in the way of true justice. We're on the same side, Michael. No. No. I know who I am. I know what I am doing. In that case, the choice is yours. Protector of faith. You know what must be done. Huh. Well, obviously, I'm not going to kill Batman, for fuck's sake. The Dark Knight must be slain. Shut the hell up, man, you brainwashing cultists. The blade calls to you, Azrael. It's one true master. So basically, what I'm going to have to do is uh, hand this sword to Batman, I imagine. Break down the Batman. Kill him. No, I don't think so. I thought myself the instrument of God, not the tool of man.
Huh. Now what? <laughs> Alright, so I broke this sword. So is this guy going to take over for Batman or what, dude? I don't know. Well, obviously he's not going to take over for Batman right now, but... You made the right decision, Michael. I do no one's bidding but God's. The Order must answer for what they have done to me. Huh. All right. Huh. Well, I wouldn't mind uh, making the different decision if I end up playing this game again, you know? Kind of seeing how it goes if he tries to kill Batman. Batman would obviously try to take him down. Lockdown clock tower. Authorization. Batman. Authorization. Batman. Yes. Yeah, there's still, like, a Riddler thing in here that I have not found, and it's bugging the hell out of me. But that's gonna take care of this part, guys. When I come back, let's see... I think I'm gonna jump into the main story. Because, as you can see, I've knocked out... Yeah, pretty much everything on the left side of the wheel. So, everything on the left side is done, with the exception of... This garbage taking out the militia checkpoints. Last night I took some time and I, uh, hold on. I took out the remaining three APCs. I didn't record that stuff because like I said earlier, taking out the APCs is just basically essentially me chasing the APC around the city and blowing it up with rockets. It's not really a big deal. So I took out all those, um... I'll keep an eye out for any more weapons caches and watchtowers, but other than that, it's all about the main story today. So, Alfred, I'm going to investigate the seismic activity on Miyagani Island. I fear it's not going to be good news, sir. It seems nothing tonight is. No, it's probably not going to be good, Alfred. All right, so we have to head over here. Um, there's been some kind of like earthquakes, like mini earthquakes going on over there on the island. So we're going to go check that out. Feel free to comment down below, hit the like button, and subscribe if you're uh, enjoying my content. Much more Arkham Knight to come today. Hopefully closing out the game. Thank you so much, guys.